Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance on Web3 technology. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how I provide liquidity on the Meyer decentralized exchange. As always, I like to start off on an official Twitter page and I'm going to go to the website Meyer.exchange. I've already connected to the website using my Meyer app on my phone. And I'm just going to go into this farms section. What I want to do today is provide some liquidity to this ELGD USDC pair. And we can see the APR is 21% or 109% paid out in MEX or locked MEX tokens respectively. And this table just gives a bit more of a detailed breakdown with regards to the rewards. The first thing I need to do is swap some of my Elrond tokens into USDC because I'm going to need to pair an equal amount of EGLD with USDC. I'm going to swap 1.01 Elrond tokens into USDC. It's pretty cool the way it works. When I'm authorizing transactions, I do that via my Meyer app on my phone. So I've now swapped some Elrond into USDC. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the pair, the EGLD USDC pair, and I need to add some liquidity. So that's me pairing my Elrond token with USDC. I'm just going to use the maximum amount of USDC that I've got and then add liquidity. Again, I confirm the transaction on my Meyer app on my phone. Now, I'm not going to speed up this transaction. I just want to give an honest demonstration of how long it takes on the Elrond network. Now, coming from Terra, I'm used to pretty fast transaction speeds. And from a reading around Elrond, theoretically, it seems like it is a super flat, fast blockchain. But to be honest, this is taking longer than I would expect, or certainly that I'm used to. So I'd love to hear from people that do use Meyer Exchange more regularly and the Elrond network. Like, is this a standard transaction speed or have I got some sort of issue going on here? So hopefully as I get more used to using Elrond, I'll get a better picture of how long transactions do take. And it's quite possible that this, for whatever reason, is just a little bit slow today. And now that I've created an LP token, a liquidity provider token, I now need to go and stake this token so that I can start earning rewards. So I'm looking for this EGLD USDC pair. And I'm just going to go for stake. And I'm going to stake all of my tokens. Now I could earn a much higher APR if I chose to earn these locked MEX tokens. But instead of that, and because of my recent experience on Terra, I don't really want to have anything locked up. I want it all to be liquid. So I'm going for just the standard MEX tokens. And this shows that I've now staked my LP token and I've actually started earning some MEX rewards already. I'm just going to let these accrue and then when they're actually worth something, I'll come back in and claim them. If you found this video useful, likes and shares on social media are really appreciated. And if you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them down below. Thanks.